Deforestation has consequences beyond the mere loss of trees. The disappearance of forests leads to erosion, soil degradation, and other environmental calamities. But much of what has been lost may be regained simply by planting trees. That's the philosophy of Trees for the Future, headquartered here in Washington. They bring degraded lands back to life. All right, they, they increase the, the amount of biomass. They, a lot of the trees that are being planted are nitrogen fixing. They bring water tables back. They, they increase um, drinking water and irrigation water for the people that are planting the trees. And says Ethan Budiansky, planting fruit and nut trees can help a local economy in the developing world. In Ethiopia, for example, Trees for the Future has distributed 1.9 million trees. Gabriel Buttram is the program coordinator there. Really working with people to um, practice certain agroforestry techniques that in increase the productivity of land through fixing nitrogen and using green fertilizers, the leaves from the trees, uh, that really can help to increase productivity. Um, again, not only to increase household uh, food security, but um, also at the same time to provide them with a source of income when they sell their mangoes or their papayas or, you know, moringa leaves. Trees for the Future sponsors agroforestry projects throughout the world, targeting deforested lands in Asia, Latin America and Africa. A recent FAO report says we're losing somewhere around 13 million hectares of trees per year. That's about um, an area the size of Rhode Island is being cut daily. One of the worst hit areas of this practice is in Kenya. So it has about 2% of the original forest cover left in Tanz in, in, within Kenya. The other countries, Uganda and Tanzania, are not as bad, but it's still getting worse every year. David Tai says he encourages people to plant trees near their homes and farms. And the idea has taken root, especially in Kenya. As people realize they need to plant trees, it's, it's gotten so bad that people, women are having trouble further and further with firewood. There are no trees where, where the children used to. Well, adults talk about their childhood, how they used to, this forest used to be here, but now it's gone. So people are really interested in planting trees now. But other countries, such as maybe Zambia or, or parts of western Tanzania, where there's a lot of forest remaining, people aren't interested as much. You know, oh, why do I plant trees? There's a forest right over there. To ensure that forest over there remains, Trees for the Future continues its tree planting mission with projects in 26 countries across the globe. Last year alone, the organization helped put more than 17 million trees in the ground. I'm VOA's Rebecca Ward for Going Green.